What's up, Timekeepers? Me, Tom Game here, bringing you Between the Stars. If ready, I'm ready, Tom, to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be trying out a small little demo called Between the Stars. This is a game in development right now uh, by Isolated Game from Mercury. Like, they sent me the code, so thank you so much. It's, uh, it's sort of an influencer preview, so thank you so much for sending me the code. I'll leave a link to in the description below or for their Kickstarter. As you can see, you can go support them on Kickstarter. And also leave you a link to their Discord where you can get up-to-date information on their game and so forth. So uh, this is a FTL roguelike game, a space battle uh, space adventure battle type game uh, where uh, sort of a, it reminds me a bit of uh, No Man's Sky and things like that. So uh, I'll leave it there. We'll we'll figure out what the game is together by playing it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So let's go. Alert. Systems damaged. Oh, that's not good. Warp drive pressure increasing. Uh oh. Let's not Crew, crash now. Boost warp drive to full power. Let's do it but right now. <laughs> I said full power. That's an order. You must do what I say. Power. That's a funny, funny four, three. The game looks smooth and nice. Smooth Just and nice. Why am I listening the last part? It looks smooth Warp and nice. Successful. Okay, whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on. We've here. made it. Alright, cool. Wanda, thank you very much. Then the weapon Action. or the shield. We're detecting uh -oh. signatures on? in the vicinity. X. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. God damn it. Let's go behind! Hey, attack! Shoot the ship down! I have to remember these are reverse controls. Down is up and up is down. Uh. One down, one down. Let's go, Captain, we got this. Full rotation! If I press 2, we'll, it says nuclear. Did that work? Rotate, rotate, go, go, go! You did! You did! You did! Let's reverse on that one. There we go. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Captain, I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. All right. Oh, I can pick up stuff. Ooh. Next ship. All right, so we picked up all the ships. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, crates. Common. Ooh, credits. And oil. Ooh, dead bodies. Corpse of Philip Burrow. And Igor so Sokolov. They were good people. Let's open these loot boxes. Free, free loot boxes. Sweet. Time to exit System here. Analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. Really? All right, Mai, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamus 6 sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. M. Where are we going? Warp drive engines damaged. Oh, okay. Jump I guess I collected by, uh, accidentally. Uh, my, which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the trade station and Terra's port. Okay, set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Press space to char start charging the quantum engine. That seems like a good plan we got here. Full power. Let's make sure I just clear stuff before I hit hyperdrive or whatever. 
quantum drive. Start charging. My situation report on Antero's port. Accessing database. This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return to the in the name of Christ you doing? settlements. What are you doing? They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. Ooh, I love beet soup. No, I don't. I actually don't. Captain Scott from the Fifth Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Locate and approach dock to Station enter highly tower a low speed. Dock at the assigned bay. Stop the ship within Over. the highlighted area. Wait for Receiving a few seconds without moving the confirming dock. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Giggity. How we docking? Oh, there's the light area. It's green. Stop moving. We did it. There we go. Doc, yo shit. Time to fix this bad boy. <laughs> it is not looking good. You discover a great con commotion around the freighters on the station when you exit your ship. You hear shouts from all angles and merchants betting every increasing number of over merch merchandise. You're cooling yourself, leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. You find yourself looking at a neon light when someone bumps into your shoulder. Look down. Oh, that hurts. Uh, it's a scruffy young woman who begins to collect spanners and me metallic objects of all sorts. She had on her as she tries to steady herself. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Don't worry, are you hurt? You should be more careful. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. No, it was my fault entirely. Oh, Excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Suzanne. I'm head. I'm the head of Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. What can I do for you? Actually, we're just looking for a repair shop for our ship. <clears throat> you walk together to the docking bay where your ship is located. Suzanne rubs her eyes and in, in incredulously. In incredulously. Well, sorry, I know the word. I just, for some reason, I can't say it. No way. A K KP five six four SC warship. It's completely tall. How did you manage to? Susan sighs deeply. All right, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. The repair cost highly exceeds your credit account. After negotiating, you agree to handle a series of tasks for her in return for payment. In the meantime, they shall give you a complimentary operational ship. Susan, do you know where I can find the transmission room? Of course, Captain. There's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way. Large space station often have a transmission system. Highly superior to that of normal ships, allowing her cross-sector communications. You walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, where you are allowed to pass and spot the transmission crew, busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You are granted a terminal in order to send a situation report to the Republic. Perform trans the transmission. Scott. Captain Scott here. We're transmitting from the Taros Port Station in Sector Thama 6. Admiral Shao. Captain Scott, we are expecting your arrival two Earth days ago. Explain the situation. Scott, yes sir, we ran into a problems. We ran into problems. We were following the trail of a slaver network of Otoba 1 sector. We infiltrated their base and obtained a crucial part of their information they, that you asked for, but our scientists are still unable to decipher it. <clears throat> During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought we had left them behind when we arrived at this sector, but we were inter intercepted. We were intercepted. We finally managed to finish off the enemy ship, but two of my crew members have lost their life, and the Genesis was practically destroyed. Animal Shao. Sorry to hear the captain. We'll give them a sending off they deserve. What is your ship's current status? Our ship is damaged. Scott currently is in inoperable. As soon as it's repaired, we'll return to headquarters for Cellar Summit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cellar Summit. As one of the most experienced captain of the Republic who presents is required as head escort and and reception of our guests. Every governing body in the universe shall be present and will set aside their differences in favor of a new era of peace and prosperity. Don't worry, Admiral, we're, we'll arrive before the visit starts. Store. I can make funeral arrangements. The special effects served. Well, okay, well, I guess I can head over to the corpse and a crew member, accept contract. Okay. Alright, that's done. So contracts are here in Terra's freighter. 
New Terrorist Freighter. In order to repair the ship, we'll need a, an ion reactor. This wouldn't usually be a problem if we had the needed materials. But it isn't the case. We haven't heard any news from the Space Freighter, E-32 Pulsar Repair Ship, in two Earth days. Her crew isn't answering any hails, and their last coordinates show it nearing an asteroid field known as Atero Cemetery. We need you to find them. Objective investigate area. Accept contract. Alright, let's go fulfill our contract, I guess. Oh, that's our ship. Ooh, Everyone nice big... to their post. We must find that missing freighter. A spiffy little ship we Captain, got here. Do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. Organic Space Law. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Bye. Can you scan the area? A lot of space I detect junk. irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. Closer to this thing, I guess. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. All right, just like that. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive oh. that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. My, can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings oh. found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Who is it? Pleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> you asked for it, crew I'm to I'm gonna arm. get it now. Hurting me. Time for you to go now. Did it. All right, we did it. Captain, the ship's remains correspond to the fighter we've been searching for. We have to look for survivors and confirm the shipment was in fact stolen. All right, let's Preparing swivel around here. Uh, you enter what's left of the freighter as the bay door closed behind you. Within it, you have find the remain of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sort of supplies and uh, objects on the floor accompanied by what w were once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come across a statue of two possible paths. Let's go right. Your crew and, your ha and you advance through the corridor. You've chosen. The further in the ship you go, the more you get the feeling that you are not alone. After a while, you reach another crossway. Go right again. After walking in a circle, you arrive in a hallway and the bay door opens in front of you. The door frame is still within the darkness. You're able to make out the, f the faint light. Let's enter. As soon as you enter the bay door, close the light turn on. At the end of the room, you see a raw protonite shipment stacked in a row of the emit light rays of light. See the raw protonite shipment stacked in a row. Okay. 
A robotic voice surprised you. It seemed to be the ship's MAI system. Intruder detecting the loading bay. Activating security protocol. Opening evacuation bay doors. Help. We are the crew of the Genesis of Republic. I waits for a second and begins speaking again. Opening suspended. Validating credential. Error. They are intruders. No, I'm the Kaz. We're here to... Uh, I demand to speak with your captain immediately. Uh, okay. Wounded. Damn it. The cabinet has no time to speak when intruder established status to probably the intruder not being an identified as intruder. 100%. The bay door begins to open. The crew or yourself hold on what you can. The first act pulls you and forces you towards them. The weakest of you, crew members begin to have trouble holding on. Okay, weak, then we are intruder. Zero probably that intruder identifies the intruder establishing an as error. The AI begins to calculate probabilities with a, while it seems confused. Only someone who is an intruder would claim they are intruders. If the intruder claims it is an intruder, probably protocol inc incompatible. <laughs> okay. As it exclaimed different error, you hear the voice shut down due to the logic error. The bay door closed. You are not out of danger. Remind me never to upset R. May. Uh, you load the chest of Proto Knight on the ship and you look for a register of what could have happened. Gener the engineers search through the few working terminals left, but all that appears to be corrupt. You make your security copy to be able to study it later. Accept. Let's go back to the station to inform Susan. What All kind right. of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? X player's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. All right. After arriving to the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located in it. You spot Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You return. Have you found anything? Susan looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. We found the freighter. There were any survivors. Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. That can't be. I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. Were you able to recover the cargo? Yes, we were able to recover. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need a ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineer can help us. Could you process the proton slab and fabricate a new ion reactor? Of course, we'll get right on it. Uh, go to the department screen and inventory and salvage the raw product. Alright. Departments. Again, I, I have to... Oh, no. Not in. Department. Engineers. Let's take Wanda. I think it's here. Or not. God damn it. Grab this. Alright, that works. Complete. Ooh, that's a lot. With the obtained material, fabricate an ion reactor. Alright. Uh, I guess we have to go into engineering. Build the ion reactor. Complete. Uh, Susan examined the ion reactor. Pulse say excellent should work. This is we'll do everything we need to finish the repair. I have another favor to ask you. In the meantime, while we finish things up, speak with me when you're ready. Of course. Once back at the station, Howard says his goodbye with a few words and he leaves the group. Susan comes up to you with more cheerful demeanor. You finally back, Inspector. Huggins look a bit out of place. Did everything go well? Uh, is there any place or sector that hasn't ridden with death? <laughs> the truth is that with the, the organization of the Great Summit, the Republic Patrol have been reduced in order to call back to headquarters. It's provisional, but it looks like it was enough to cause all of this. Yes, we'll present ourselves as soon as possible. Wow, it's so... I'm sorry to hear that. Suzanne looks uh, away a few seconds, but recompasses herself and resumes the, sh the chat rapidly. In any case, we have good news. It was tough, but your ship repairs have been completed. 
I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers. And come visit us if you are even back in the sector. Of course, we'll see each other again. Okay, I guess we're, we're leaving. Captain, our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. Okay, I think we're gonna go directly where we need to go. I think it's Tassert Stella. That's where we need to go, so let's go. Warp drive! Disappeared. Ooh, so pretty. My ship is like Captain, super new. The investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked Fantastic. up at the slaver's headquarters. Tell me I what's I think you on. need to hear this immediately. Yeah. Nartas, Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Situation report, Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Hey, that's the Perfect. guy I think I killed earlier. The Galactic Gosh, Summit yeah, is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. I can't believe it. We have to relay this as soon as possible. Understood, Admiral. Although there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he destroyed our ships. All right. Take care of him as soon as possible. Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations mm. are supplied. That's no bueno. Break their will and if necessary, kill them all. May the sun light your way, Commander. Hmm. We'll keelhaul them all! Ex Pleo out! Alright. That's no good. Allied station, let's go. Time to go home. Oh. Dock 11, let's go. Oh, okay. What's going on here? Who's that ship? Uh oh, those don't, those don't look like good ships. We welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. God damn you, Admiral. What is the meaning of this, not us? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out for the security and common interests of the universe for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. Yeah. Just a few, Admiral? Uh-oh. I think we called the wrath of some bad people. We've been complacent for too long, but that's over now. The Children oh of the Sun will God. no longer be led by an unworthy puppeteer. It's time to cut those cables and strangle our detractors with them to the last. Oh, Admiral, this no. is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. Surrender or die. Not us. Be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. Yeah, ma'am. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. No, not Admiral. Don't kill the Admiral. Alright, let's get into this. Defend the headquarters. I don't know how that's going to happen here, but... All right, let's get into this here. The children of the sun are attacking the headquarters. Something Captain, tells me this is not going to end well. been damaged. We won't hold out much longer. Holy shit! Our shields have fallen. Yeah, no kidding. Take that, you dirty ship. 
Weapons at max power. Take that, ship. Take that, another one of y'all. The children of the sun are focusing all their fire on the station. The chance Don't do the that. Zero zero Destruction! Yay, another one destroyed. Oh my god, they're they are just going full ham on us. Whew, another one done. Those are big explosions you got there, friend. Has been destroyed. That's no bueno. Structural damage to the headquarters. Explosions in the house. God damn it. Destroyed. This can't be happening. You'll pay for this. Do you hear me? Sounds like you pay for this even if it's the last thing I do. I'll keep you. Even if I have, I have to, to get out of here. To the end of the universe. Captain, snap out of it. We need you more than ever now. Captain, there's a fire in the reactor room. The pressure readings are off the charts. No. Hurt. Hurt. Answer, damn it. Bastards, you won't finish us all. Not today. That must be the mothership right here. Destroy this ship. Heavy damage to the ship. Status critical. No kidding, huh? Full rotation. You'll never get away with this, not us. The Republic will prevail! Captain, Admiral Xiao's ship has been destroyed. Admiral! To all captains, focus fire on Naruto's ship. He can't be allowed to leave here alive. He's right here. Right here. No good. Remember, Dyad, leave the room immediately. That's an order. Sorry, Captain. It's too late. I have to close the doors to avoid the entire ship's decompression. Don't do that. Do you hear me? I forbid the closing of Don't those do bay it. doors. Manual lock activated. Closing bay doors. It's been an honor, Captain. Get out of no! the way. <laughs> no. I'll let you, Nartos. My. Redirect all power flow to the cannon. Oh, now you're gonna get it. I'm getting it pretty good too. Confirmation required. Captain James Scott of the Interstellar Republic, ID 4128C. Deactivate protection protocol. Crew security protocols have been deactivated. Captain, the system will not support the overcharge. The probability of death is 100%. That's not good. We cannot allow the children of the sun to get away with this. My full power. You're going to die. Like the last thing I do. Redirecting power. He's not even losing power. power. Oh, 110%. okay. 210 percent. 250 percent. 500 percent. 1,000 percent. Uh oh. Here she blows. The douche. You're done, Naruto. Oh. Nar Naru? Naruto? Whatever it was calling him. Goddamn. That's one busted ass ship we got there. Situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew, crew dead. I see. So, this is it, right? Pretty much. MAR system. Protocol error. D -d damage. Easy. I'm here with you. 
God. Rest, my. No. Rest. We just put out our floating sh uh, And we're done. <laughs> Between the stars. That's a cool little demo. Thank you for playing the demo Between the Stars. If you enjoyed the demo, you can help out the game really support on us on Kickstarter. If you want to check out the campaigns, please go to click the green button and thanks. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for Between the Star, the demo there uh, that was uh, sent to me by the developer of the game. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. If you guys want to help out the game, I'll leave a, a link in the description below where you guys can help out on the Kickstarter. And also I will try out, uh, I will uh, put the Discord link where you guys can get up to date information on the game itself. Uh, it's a really fun little demo. I really enjoyed. There's a lot of a couple more things to work on. Uh, the the game, yeah. A couple more thing. I I, I, the, I really enjoyed this. The, the the controls of the game. I feel like they're they're done pretty well. Uh, the combat's pretty fun. Uh, the voice acting could be a bit better. I feel like it's uh it's a bit a bit, uh, a bit I don't know. It's a bit weird. It's not like it's not as believable as you might want it to be to feel like, but. It's still pretty good, but the game itself, it's pretty interesting concept. Uh, the open warfare, uh, inter interstellar warfare, uh, it's a very cool concept. I don't know how, how, if there's a lot of games that do this kind of thing, but this one's pretty fun. I don't know exactly how it's going to work in the full game. If it says it's a roguelike game, I think that that's like if your ship is destroyed, you come back as another ship uh, with a different captain and stuff like that, if I remember correctly. That's what I understand from roguelike games usually, I think. But if you enjoyed the game, hit... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a bit of a cold and I'm losing my voice here. If you enjoyed the game, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, we really appreciate it. Leave a comment below what you thought of the demo, if it's a game you think you're going to buy, and if you support the game, of course, tell me on Twitter or even in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. And of course, you can follow me everywhere, me time, give her Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com slash me time, where I post a new video every new week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm.